it's time to continue working on that dim damn Polaroid. As whomst shall we be playing? Um... <laughs> unlocking Maggie is also probably a goal to consider. Look at that, Azazel Greed Mode. Beautiful. Um, yeah. Oh, we can try Lilith, of course. Of course. Let's do that. This should be interesting. Curse of Darkness, a great start. Ah, <sighs> Zooey Mama. Okay, let's not have any uh, projectiles taking that particular trajectory. Not today. Not ever. So, Lilith. You might notice that she has a freaking blindfold. And, um... Yeah, so she can't shoot her own tears, but she has an incubus that follows her, which can. So it's a kind of different... And by kind of, I mean extremely different kind of gameplay. Kind of lag behind in your shots. You, uh... Have to work around that. You have to shimmy around pretty swiftly to, um... Oh, Mom's Pearl. More soul hearts. Nice. You have to move around pretty swiftly to, uh, get your accurate shots. <laughs> and you end up losing track of your own, uh, self and falling victim to those god dang red fires. Horrible, horrible stuff. I really want to look for an item room. Please bestow one unto me. This is grounds to use Lilith's starting item, the Box of Friends. And now what this does is doubles every familiar, not just the Incubus, every single one. Or it doesn't double them, but it adds an extra copy of each. So I suppose it does double, but if you use it multiple times in a room, it doesn't double that. It just adds another one each time. E. coli it is. Totally worth going all the way out to the item room for. Heck yes. Explosive diarrhea. Yeah, that's not explosive diarrhea. Let me just wipe that clean right quick. Don't want that interfering with our boss fight, no sir. And no battery charge for the boss, so this is gonna be a little bit tedious. Her damage, her starting stats are not below average, which is nice. Except for her HP, of course. And uh, the Incubus is not affected by range ups, range downs, shot speed ups, shot speed downs. Everything else it kind of perfectly mimics, though, so... Good to know. Oh my god, they are excited? Excuse me? They weren't excited when I started the fight, right? You see, my, what am I smoking? <laughs> What's going on in here? Monstro, no! It's not supposed to be this way. God, I'm excited. Horrible. And he's lagging, because he's so, so pumped. Monstro, come on, sir. Just... Just please. Let me just slowly, slowly, slowly chip down your HP. And don't shoot out these little projectiles at three gorillion miles per hour. Finally. We are spared. Alright, the box. Spawns a whole bunch of thingies. Oh my goodness, it's the tower. Range down, like I said, the Incubus is immune to all changes of range, good or bad. In this case, it worked out nicely. Range downgrade means absolutely nothing. Alright, bomb. That is not where you're supposed to go! Ugh! <laughs> we did get a bomb from the box though, so what am I complaining? Let's go. One soul heart. Could be worse. Also, was that a double key room or a single key room? Single key room, which means it's probably a library, and indeed it was. One Necronomicon and one Telepathy for Dummies. Nothing that's better for us than the box of friends, so we'll carry that along. A lot of spacebar items. It's kind of hard to find something that's worth that's of the same caliber as this box of friends when you're playing as Lilith. She really, really enjoys it. Ooh, swarm of flies, huh? Swarm of flies. Smorgasbord. Slowly and surely, you will all be exterminated. Professional extermination services. 
I don't think I'm excited carries over between floors, so that's merciful at the very least. We've been spared from its ill-advised effects. For now. And we don't have to take the pill again. Now that we know what it is, we can avoid it with safety. Try to fire around these rock formations with Lilith's little incubus. Really not the most fun thing to do. Spectral Tears would have been really nice. Perhaps from this Devil Deal. Anything's possible. Yeah, um, Spectral Tears from a Devil Deal would be extremely nice. Pop the poop. Drop your pants. What? Fine. I just used E. coli to turn a poop into a bigger poop. I don't have a problem with that. It's fascinating. The implications of that. Implications? That's not a word. It's uh, funny what the brain concocts in moments like these. I guess there wasn't any special moments going on there, it was just... A little bit of disbelief on turning a poo into a bigger poo. Not something you see every day. E. coli. Ooh, okay. Not gonna hit me today, champion. Not sir. Not in any likelihood. No way, Jose. Mega fatty going down. Just a regular fatty. Not a mega one. Fatty mega evolution revealed for Pokemon Ultra Sun and Moon. Coming at fall 2017. Wow, I sure would love one bomb so I could achieve another bomb with that one bomb. Would really brighten my day. Maybe find a little crawl space if you're feeling lucky. Are you feeling lucky? I'm not feeling too lucky. <laughs> Maybe we're saving the luck for this devil deal. Wouldn't that be nice? Oh my goodness. So yeah, the worst thing about Lilith is trying to navigate these tiny, tight spaces with this stupid, lagging incubus. Like, come on. This little baby boy can't shoot around rocks. It's completely... Let me move this out of the way. I'm glad there was a movable TNT here. Boop. 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 There we go. And a special tinted rock just for me. Thank you. God, that was freaking frightening. It was coming right at me. Can't believe he freaking killed me, Larry. No. Oh. <laughs> oh man, I need to stop playing so fast and loose around these Larrys. Adios. Ooh. Yes. Extra trinket slot from Belly Button. Let's go. Changes random shots to bouncy tears. Indeed it does. This is a pretty good devil start. I'll certainly take nine lives. And Brother Bobby is kind of not worth anything, to be honest. Because he would actually actively make our doubled incubus worse by wasting a slot with his putrid presence. Of course, conjoined is nice, but <laughs> that's it. That's his only merit. And now we can go back to the item room before I freaking forgetty. Here's your order of a uh, fresh forgetty bolognese. No library on this floor. Libraries are pretty rare. Not something you can rely on. Ooh! This is immediately useful. Sorry, bouncy balls. Bouncy balls is probably a good thing to keep, to be honest. Seems to be doing better things for us than the mom's pearl. Let's go! It's Mom's Bottle of Pills! Oh yeah! Bad gas from the item room. Well, we can never get that from a demon judgment, so... That's nice, right? That has its merits. <laughs> More likely to get a syringe instead. Oh, I sure would love to participate in that. Too bad that's impossible. It's not impossible, but it would be most likely a waste of a key. Chance of getting a key in return? Not the best. Not the greatest.
Man, the technical difficulties do not stop, do they? Okay, well now you have- can, you can listen to the beautiful, beautiful, soothing caves music now. Something that you have been denied the pleasure of hearing. Freaking monitor resets its sound outputs, man. Unfortunate circumstances. Gotta be a little more thorough on my, uh, pre-recording examinations. Don't know what I'll do about that previous footage. <laughs> Might as well keep it. This is an extremely boring Lilith run. Also, dead cat, how inconsiderate. You're filling up a familiar slot, which means our second Incubus is gonna be not in a very, very valuable spot. What do you have to say for yourself? Oh, you took me. You added me to your song uh, familiars. Well, you're right. Also, please never use that voice again. It is my fault for taking Dead Cat. I forgot that its head filled up a slot. A little bit of a strange... I mean... Why is it just a floating head? The icon is a dead cat, but the result is a head. What's that supposed to mean? It's been that way since the very earliest rendition of Re or not even Rebirth, the original base game, The Binding of Isaac. Also, this is awful. These portals, please dissociate any moment now. Finally, say goodbye to this bat. Yep, just about any year now. If you want to um, become deceased, I appreciate that. A kind armistice, a little peace offering between Fat Bat Kind and Lilith here with the old Incubus. Troll Bomb, nice. Just when you need real bombs, the game knows exactly how to grind your gears. He was a salty boy. That's me. The man of the hour. The man of the salt. Dude, how come the poop has more HP than the poop from whence it spawned? I like how the um, external item descriptions show what the tick does, but not the fact that you cannot release the tick from your body once you've touched it, once it's latched itself onto you. So, you know, that's kind of annoying. <laughs> Might as well fight the boss now, I guess. Oh, it's XL. Yikes. Well, we can go back, recharge our item. Please, please, give me a freaking deal this time. I'm not asking a lot here. It's a 33% chance. I've acquired worse. I've bet bigger things on less chance. Oh my goodness. When Mega Maw takes a long time, even with your effectively 2020 minions, you know you're in a bit of a sticky situation. We have a battery charge right here. Let's get her done. All together now. Yeah! Here we go now. Narrow room fatty. Heck yes. Can I blast you with this TNT real quick? Thank you. That did marginal damage. Better than nothing. I was hoping for more. So, narrow room boss fights. A uh, fun new feature introduced in Afterbirth. You get to fight bosses in all of the close private quarters. If that tier bounces directly into the TNT again, I'm not going to be a happy camper. Mega Fatty is actually relatively benign compared to some other options you might be fighting in these god awful rooms. Yes, no deal! Just what I needed! Oh. Shaping up to be a miserable one, boys. The one greed mode we get? Utterly fantastic. The best greed mode run I can ever recall. Simply the greatest. Every other run, every normal hard mode run that we have done in this entire playthrough. Horrible. Abominable. Disgusting. Tedious. Soul sapping. Life force sucking drains the spirit of a man's will to live. Just 
just blast right into me. I literally can't outrun you because I have 1.0 speed. At least the fat bat is the courtesy to shoot instead of ramming. Golly gee willikers, sir. Oh, that, that was an E. coli poop, of course. He's finally deceased. So, it's been, I don't know, six runs now. I'm gonna say conclusively that the base game's assortment of items is a lot worse than after you've unlocked everything. It's just a scientific fact, based on this huge sample size. Truly the greatest. The most valuable data collection known to mankind. These are the results. These are the undeniable truths. And that is why we are working towards unlocks. I unlocked blood rights, have not seen that yet. Wanna give me blood rights in one of these item rooms? I'll take it. Just kidding, I won't because I cannot use it. I need my box of friends. And I do mean need. Without it, I would be starving for any damage. I'd be a hungry, hungry boy. Not only in real life, but also in the game. Thank you for freaking self-immolating. I really appreciate that. Cuts off on my hard times. Really, it's just quite the load off, you know? No item rooms there. Not a one. Slowly but surely, squirming our way out of here towards the item rooms. It's gonna take another two hours to fully explore this floor for item rooms, so bear with me, would ya? Good god! We could very well die here. Nine times in a row. Without question, it can happen. This is horrifying! Give me the item rooms now! I'm agitated. I'm irate. I have entered the rage room. I'm using its facilities to my full advantage. I'm going to slam the table and bang the doors. It's gonna be a rowdy time. You boys are gonna bear witness. This is what you have found yourselves. This is what you have wandered into. Nothing is changing that. Oh my god! This room! He literally pooped on me. What's a man to do? There we go, use the black heart strategically. That's the kind of stuff I'm looking for. I really would love to preserve my current amount of HP, so if I don't die, that would be very appreciated. Please, give me a Joker card. Give me a red chest to teleport to the Devil Deal. I will kill myself for a Devil Deal, if it's a good one. Come the heck on! Oh, I can't handle the Dookies. This run is Dookie. He is my equal. He cannot be surmounted. He will infinitely procure flies. I can't even enter the regular challenge room because I am so anemic in health. Oi, caramba! Please. Please. Just remove yourself from the mortal coil. I beg of you. With your ruby red eyes which I do despise. Oh, man! Look at the anti-aliasing on those eyeballs. The blending between the red and the gray. It's so... It's so... mediocre. Is this the kind of official sprite art we expect we all know and love? Sure as heck is not. Those bats look so out of place. It's disgusting. I'm so disgruntled, I'm complaining about the pixel art. That's what we've come down to. Oh my god! Oh my god! Holy shit! Okay, spiders. This warrants the box of friendos. Dude, just the mere premise of raw liver is such a morale booster. I just need it now. Please, give me a bomb. I'm not asking a lot. 
I have not found the shop, I have not found a single item room. We're at 18 minutes in what is effectively the caves too. Send help. That's all I have to say. A key. Nice. Not a bomb, but comes close. Kablooey! Spider Stewie in the gooey kablooey. It's you. Splat Tim, he does it. Look at that. Look at these big, beautiful flies hovering their fat fly bums all over the place. You think you're so high and mighty? You got flight? You got hovering capabilities? You're betraying the laws of aerodynamics to hover despite your rotund body? Poised dangerously over the abyss? What happens if you fall into the hole? Nobody knows. Because it's impossible. To most enemies, the hole is simply a wall. There's an invisible force field. To me as well. I can't get in there. I can't enter the hole. It's a complete mystery. I think the holes could be a cool gameplay mechanic if they were like a trap door. Now there are holes that do damage you. Those are like sucking holes that will drag you in and actively make your life more miserable. They're quite rare though. I mean there's Little Horn who spews his holes directly at you. That's something. That's worth noting. Come on, let's get some exploding boys. Any moment now. One of these has got to be a hit away from death. There we go. And one more. And one more. Oh yes! Half heart deceased just for me. We've entered the shop. We have car battery! I repeat, we have the car battery. Mother of God. If you didn't read the description, that car battery makes me use my spacebar item twice for the cost of one usage. There's options. Hey, that's pretty good. Fifteen cents will be maintained for now. Now we can continue on our path to the item rooms. But first, before we go into any combat areas, we're gonna want to grab that raw liver. Oh yeah. That bad baby is gonna give us two, count them, two full HP increments. Ooh, and there's a special hanging shopkeeper. We don't really need money though. What we really want is bombs. Look at that, it's a full heal too, I didn't even know that. Fantastic. Now, these guys are all blind maggots, so they're mostly harmless. The sheer quantity of them here, though, makes them kind of a pain. You can even see, if you look closely, if you look very closely at their pallid face, you can see where the eyeballs were once drawn, and have since been erased and replaced with white circles. It's an interesting touch. They're like blind cave salamanders, or other cave animals that have been so uniquely adapted to suit their environment. Oh, I was so, so pensively admiring these, um, cave maggots. And I did not even consider the mushroom and its shooting spree. Okay, we have so many red hearts. Let's delve into this, shall we? He's done it! Soul hearts! These will make the next floor a guaranteed devil do it. Of course, assuming we can go through the next floor without losing all of our HP. Do not charge me. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for heeding my word. I will remember that. Look, look at the shading on their chins, for God's sake. What is that supposed to be? You have a little crown? A crown of protruding chin bone structure? How can you fly with bones that big? As a bat, you have not yet evolved hollow bones, like those present in birds. So honestly, I don't know what's your deal. Another enemy who defies all known explanations of aviation. Akin to... Thank you to the non-champion for giving me enough invulnerability to poopify the true champion. And finally, we can reach both of our item rooms. Ooh! Not only does it deal 10% of the enemy's total HP, it also deals... MAGIC MUSHROOM! MAGIC MUSHROOM! 
It's acquired. I've gotten it. The magic mushroom. So, it's certainly not a one run yet, but we can go to the challenge room for once. We got our first DPS upgrade. I'm a happy boy. Took long enough. We almost doubled our damage. The mom's razor, as I was saying... Oh, we can't even use this. Okay. Alright. Mm okay then. Adios. It also deals, um, 20% of my tier damage per tick. Which would be, like, point, uh... <laughs> Why can't I do this mental math? So one-tenth is 0.6. So 20% would be... Um... <laughs> 1.2, yes, per tick. So 12 damage per tick, which is rivaling that of a meat cube, which is actually pretty freaking nice. And the bleeding debuff is pretty cool as well. I'm probably just going to use this to donate on the next floor. At last, we can descend. Had a mere 24 minutes taken. Mmm. A nice, refreshing glass of agua. Oh yeah, that meat, or not the meat, but the uh, old razor here. Pretty good. I will not take damage from you, Senor Pooter. Not in this lifetime. I'd really love some tears ups, to be frank. Because we have the cool uh, rubber cement trinket. Little pseudo rubber cement. More of those rubber cement balls would be awesome. Alternatively, just give me true rubber cement. I'm down for that. Oh my god. There goes our devil deal and our HP. What an awful, awful room. I'm an impatient boy. I want it. I see a room. I want it cleared. Third time's the charm. We will get this devil deal. I will find a goat head. I will claim the devil deal. This is not dealing 20% uh, of my damage per tick, by the way. Maybe 2%? That sounds more like it. So here's where the nine lives really uh, shows its true colors. Can it carry a run through nine lives of peril? Nine lives of despair. Nine lives of no hope. The answer is maybe. We did get Magic Mushroom. Without it, I would probably just be... I'd be in a perpetual state of either anger or complete ennui. I'm using tilt controls. That's me. Full tilted. Come on now! I didn't even uh, use my razor, I was just trying to get at him. Oh my god, Explosivo and Mom's bra? This thing is disgusting. The sticky bombs don't deal contact damage. So it basically wastes your entire tier. It's horrible. And they're so common, too. Now I can try this in hopes of an immediate blood bag. Which did not happen. Ah, <sighs> some hearts. No, but the coins are nice. Please, for the love of God. I feel God in this depths tonight. Oh, he's got a rubber cement tear. It's beautiful. The worst thing about the magic mushroom pickup is that I can't complain about having no DPS anymore. It's just sad. Come the heck on! There you go, buddy. Nice and easy now. Ooh! He's bleeding. He's bleeding. Bleeding did a little bit of damage. Oh man. He's losing 10% each increment. Oh man. You can do it. 
It's permanent, you'll die soon enough. There's no escaping your fate. <sighs> A man's descent into madness. The save file is cursed. Thank you for this, soul heart. I really would like to bomb a shopkeeper. Did I already do so? God, disgusting. Maybe I'll take it, actually. It's good against bosses. And we still have to pick it up for the sake of completion, so... Shop, please. Give me a shop, sir. I would like it. Who is this, sir? Nondescript game entity. Generating the rooms. Oh my god, the portals, man! Seriously! Yeesh! Enough! Enough! We leave in the morning. Please, don't take damage here. Would not be advisable. You have an entire soul heart that you can use against the boss. Thank you, Explosivo Tier, for not damaging me. Who remains? Who remains even still? You. You. The knights have been cleared, the evil has been vanquished. Oh my goodness! One more itching. One more slide. Oh my god. Oh my god. Email alerts! Okay. Okay. Compost is cute, don't get me wrong, but I can't do much with it outside of the realm of Box of Friends. So donating we do in it. More donations. Chipping in for the cause. Okay. Running for rabies. Stop. I guess there's no reason to go there, but... <sighs> Into the boss we go with basically literally no chance. Brownie will desecrate us. In every sense of the word. Be gone from here immediately. Oh my god, stop. Don't you even humor me with your sliding, with your pooping, with your assorted toilet antics. Oh my god, he's actually done it. I did not deserve this. I absolutely deserved this. The useless shovel. Excellent. So good. Fantastic. Now our devil chance for the next floor is totally squandered. Down to 36%. Heck yes. We have all this money that we can't even donate. Looking good. We could buy the compost, but there's absolutely no reason to do so. We could look for the secret room, except we have no bombs. We'll descend to the depths too with a negative quantity of morale. No desire to live. However, the overarching goal of preserving the streak does remain. I'm doing it for the streak. For the viewers. For the consistency. We will triumph over these disgusting circumstances. Even if it takes nine lives to do so, which has taken four thus far. Right, more money! So worth the bomb! Thank you! Thank you, Deaths! It's been a wonderful night! Oh, the spikes were so timely. Stop! Jesus, hell! Can't win with this game, man. This is the same desperation that you feel as a beginning player, as a novice. I'm reliving those nostalgic old days. Ah, those were the days. Oh, I just want to beat Mom. Back to our primal urges. I could also go for another attempt here. There's one heart available to us. I'd like to preserve this life, thank you. Check out these poops. What they've got in store. Another heart and some coin. 
Khajiit have where if you have coin? Don't look at this dead cat, Khajiit. Spare yourself. It's a little graphic. A little disembodied cartoon head. <sighs> Traversing the spikes once again. Killing the wall creep once again. Spawning the spiders once again. Same as old spring. Oh! That was just very, very silly. But we've earned a heart in return. Earn being pretty questionable here. Mom's box, random trinket generator, and luck upgrade. And we have car battery, so we get two trinkets. But nothing particularly valuable there. Two of diamonds, that's cool. I could charge this up and look for some more trinkets. Some trinkets that give us DPS, perhaps? Some cancer? Some curved horn, which I have not even unlocked yet? Curved horn is probably a good thing to try to unlock. And by probably, I mean indubitably. There's no debating that curved horn is one of the best in the game. Alright, key please. Was there a key for sale? I'm um, handing out keychains. Keychains! Yes, there is a key for sale. Let's go. It's not usually the situation I find myself in, but I'm actually hoping this run ends at Mom's heart. Either that, or we get really well equipped by some miracle. Mmm, don't kill yourself for literally no reason. Would be a good start. Did you really have to do that? I'm talking to you, Mr. Pustule floating in the air. Ugh. Nasty guy. More money, huh? More money, more problems. You know what they say. I need some more poops to slay. Post haste. Alright, one gray chest. That is the good gravy right there. Right there. 100. That was unnecessary. Well, now we have different RNG. Still get a freaking hopper, though. Ew. Stop. You will not leap onto my person. My corpse is off limits. Oh. Oh. I have nothing to say but guttural moans. This is pure revulsion. Let's dial up the diarrhea dial. Oh, God. Oh no 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 nope 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 You will not <sighs> I can I can sever my tonsils, that's cute. I have a chance of a double item room which I've already squandered. Plus fifteen percent chance. Interesting, so that's the true number here. Is this tonsil worth anything? I don't even know what the tonsil does. Let's go, though. We don't necessarily need the rubber bouncing ball. Big old bouncing balls. I've got big balls. You've got big balls. He's got a necrotic skeleton. She's got a necrotic skeleton. These guys do freaking quick scopes at you three times in succession. Honestly, how is that even fair? This is purgatory exemplified. Two of hearts! He's done it! We're back to one full heart, lads. We're back in the running. Remember when I said not a one run yet? Yeah, that is completely true. Oh, angel bosses? That's kind of a spoiler. I can't even fight the angel bosses yet. Come on. Oh, that's a fast little guts, I'll tell you that much. I've seen some guts in my lifetime, but they don't get as fast as that. Please! Oh, thank you for poopifying. Poopify! Crucio! Pantalonicus Poopicus! Brrr. 
super secret room with the soul hearts. Maybe even more soul hearts? Maybe even more soul hearts? No. Worth a shot. Was there something we wanted to backtrack for? It's Box of Friends. We had a good run with our trinket generator. It gave us a tonsil. Better than nothing? Probably. And, uh, <laughs> well, what else can we do here? Not that. I have to be a raving lunatic to attempt that. Oh, okay. Back to our box of friends, which is not here. That was fast bombs. Fastest bombs this side of the Mississippi. I don't think I did properly explain what fast bombs do. It's a very subtle feature. You know how when you place a bomb, there's a cooldown before you can place another bomb, you know? Well, it removes that cooldown, so you could pop, 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 rattle off a whole truckload of bombs. Limited only on how many bombs you currently possess. It's really nice. Like, situationally, it can really, really explode in usefulness. Most of the time, though, it's just a useless accessory. Gives you seven bombs, though, so it's immediately useful. Almost as good as BOOM! So without further ado, it's Mama time. I'm gonna use Mom's Razor against her, which does literally nothing. It's actually doing nothing though. <laughs> uh, also, Explosivo is not good against Mom, that much should be obvious. The damage from these razors is so poor. Thank you for not squishing me, Mommy. Oh, gee willikers, sir. These razors are actually doing nothing. You could at least do some damage. I guess she's immune to her own razor, because she uses it so often. You were interfering with my regular dodging patterns, Mom. Nothing I can do about it. Ay, caramba. You know, it's a fun fight, as always, when the music reaches that that certain special threshold. Mmm. Wonderful. No deal. HP up. Let's get the heck out of here. Ugh. Womb 1. Potential good pills to be acquired. Oh my Jesus! Stop teleporting! You silly decapitated little boy with the eternal fly hovering around, doing your bidding without a second thought. Who do you think you are? You cannot command the eternal fly. That power is beyond the reach of mere mortals. And here I am once again at the whims of not taking damage. I'm beautiful. No matter what they say, words cannot bring me down. I'm excited. Pretty fly. Hey, that's not bad. Should not have come here. Should not have come here. That's it. My life flashes before my eyes. Even the poop is multicolored. That is adorable. Please, keep teleporting. I love it when you teleport. Fills me with glee. Was that really necessary? It didn't even count as completing the room? This is actually it. It's all over here. You will stop. Stop. You've been detonated. Destroyed. Bamboozled. Alright, Dingle. Within moments, you will explode. We have only minutes to harvest. <laughs> Continue onwards. This room is relatively benign. The Fred's a little annoying. The Brains is also annoying. 
You know if my damage isn't gonna kill you? The Explosivo will. Thank you for not teleporting all willy-nilly. Please, give me fate. Oh, goodness gracious. No, 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 no. Mom, not welcome. She deals contact damage. Unheard of. Inconceivable. Could you please explode? No, 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 not like that. Not like that. You do realize I need to go through this. I need to pass through this room. Within seconds, you will be destroyed. The time is nigh. The time is nigh. Now I just have you symmetrical bastards to take care of. Please. Please. Just sit back and relax. <sighs> Tonsil hasn't done a single thing for us. Tonsil has been completely inert. A soul, heart, I don't deserve this. I don't deserve this. Temper. Explode this, please. We can survive. No. Oh, wait. We don't want tonsil, like I was saying. Goodbye, tonsil. Goodbye. The Fallen. Hilarious choice. This guy is interesting because... He can spawn on any floor, even the very first one. And, um, instead of a regular boss item, he drops a devil item. Any free item. Guppy's paw, you know what? Not the worst thing known to mankind. Two guppy items. Things might actually happen here. We do want to keep this box of friends, mind you. No matter how useful Guppy's paw may be to preserve our extra respawn, Give that three soul hearts instead of one red heart? Okay, I gotta think about this because... Is it worth removing box of friends? No, it is not. Sad as that may make me be. We're now approaching our final destination. Just kidding. 100% chance for... We either will go to Shoal or we'll die. Those are literally the only two outcomes. I want my crown back, please. If there's one thing that I can say... I don't want my phalanges, though. Just my crown. Okay? Thank you. What's this? Pretty fly? Let's go. No map? Good, 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 good. Hey, look at that. These guys are freaking innocuous now. Unless I damage myself with my own explosivo, which is something I was not aware could happen. This is the worst room ever conceived. Please do not damage me with my own explosivo any longer. No. 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 Everything worked out in the end, you see? Just have faith. Oh my god, Fistula with what is effectively... So this is like what you would start a runoff with. Just fighting a Fistula with one DPS upgrade. This is like fighting Fistula in Basement 2. That's, that's the exact situation we're in. Two hits and we're dead. One Fistula versus the world. Fistula has gone, but his minions have not. Really wish I could see the map. Wow, this is cool, thanks. I love this room. At least there wasn't a freaking nerve ending that slapped me as soon as I entered the presence of it. I'm 
Okay, here goes some explosions. There goes some more explosions. Even more explosions. Or just death. What the heck? How'd you die? I'm confused. But I welcome it. Alright, Hierophant. Lovers. Lovers. Just what I needed. Hierophant, right here. Okay. Alright. It's the good gravy. Not even giving me enough to live by, huh? Well, Guppy's Paw was literally enough to live by. But you know what I'm saying. Okay, please don't. That man fires quadruple brimstone. I don't want none of that in my life. Exploded with ease. Check for an HP upgrade in the nodules, please. Or they're just going to explode on me. That's absolutely fine as well. Wrath is exploding. A good start. Come on, buddy. I think they switched places. It's like a little cup game. A little whimsical beggar cup game. Ah, okay. Almost done. I'm almost done. This is one of the nice this is a nice room. You can just sit back, relax, dole out your pittance of damage. Don't let this run soil your first impressions of Lilith. I mean it could soil your first impressions, but don't let it soil your permanent impression. She can be a lot better than this. This is just the RNG shafting anyone. Anyone would have met the same fate. I could have gone for it. But this is not exactly the time to be ballsy. Super secret room, I beg of you. Can these even be it? No. This one could, maybe? I think, maybe, perhaps. Superimposed meat boys. Looking good. Whoa, whoa, whoa. There's a man groaning. Where did you come from? The world may never know. Oh, he's right there. Where'd you come from, buddy? Why weren't you doing that sound effect in the past? How strange. They spawn? Globins? At a win? I did not know this. That is news to me. Not good news. Not good news in the least. Oh my god. Let me in, please. Please. Your torrent of blood. I don't want it to remain any longer. That's a good uh, band name and cover album. Good, good matching set. Feel free to take the inspiration. No credit necessary. Okay, that came menacingly close to complete demise. Perfect detonation. That's our standard secret room. Come on, boys. Thank you for being gone. I just meander softly in the direction of what is presumably the boss. This man has seven exploders on it. A super secret room. We have 81 cents. Please. Be generous. Donate some soul hearts to the cause. A local demon child could use your help. Please contribute. Call this number toll free. 1-800-GIVE-SOUL. It's not a good start, dude. Any year now. It- okay. Let's count him. That has been literally 30 cents with absolutely no payout whatsoever. Keep it up. Okay. There is a piercing hack for the cost, the low, low cost of 40 cents.
the machine knows how vulnerable I am, knows how exploitable I am, knows that there are no shops on this floor, and is going to leech me dry for as long as possible, for as long as anyone is willing to tolerate. Going to give me Cursed Skull, a little enticing offer to keep me paying. Duct tape, that's actually an interesting proposition. A soul heart! He's done it! He's done it! Mother of God! Now, duct tape, what does this do? It puts all of our familiars in formation. Does it now? Can we exploit this to make something funny? Nope, they automatically get spaced out to an irredeemably far distance. Basically, no thanks. I'm excited. Woohoo! The Empress. Joker. Wow. Wow. Hey. I'm just going to explode you with the tower now, so bye. Got some money back. Got the Empress back. Alright. Onwards and deathwards. It is a nice break, not being marauded, assaulted on by those freaking... Really? I get a shred of confidence and this is how the game repays me? Just kidding, that's my own... My own... Freaking... I don't even know. Ineptitude. Whatever. I can't talk. What? I don't have a mouth. Should we use the Empress now? No. Stop! We're using the Empress now. We're using the em Stop spawning the eyeball on the other end of the god dang room! You and me, Mom. Going a long ways. These razors don't even shield against- He's done it. He's actually freaking done it. We lost our devil. Now we could joker and go to Shoal. But only a true nincompoop would do such- such a horrible thing. I'm gonna take my ending. I'm gonna take my win streak. I'm going to, um, contemplate life. <laughs> Got him. This is a very, very, very relevant ending. Everything is terrible. You're goddamn right. Well, that has been a thrilling almost one hour recording session. I, uh, hope you had some enjoyment watching me flounder, watching me die on the inside. I'm going to, uh, be back tomorrow with another fun walkthrough episode. No progress made, really. But that's fine. What really matters is that we still have our win streak. So yes. Until next time.